Hello, welcome to our studio. We are meeting at the Terrena Networking Conference in Maastricht. So first I would like to ask you about the importance of this event mm -hmm. to European Commission and Enron community. Yeah, well it's, uh, you know, it's the annual event of the community uh, going together. Uh, it's uh, the most important event of the community and it's the place where NRNs, the entire community is meeting and uh, looking at new development for themselves. Uh, it's a place for demonstration, it's a place for talks, uh, so it's uh, very important. Um, it's also a place where all the regions of the world are gathering. Uh, there is strong delegation from uh, US, uh, from Latin America, from Asia. So it shows that there are something happening in the area of a, a research and education network. So for the Commission, it's, uh, it's really uh, yeah, this annual event that gather everybody and help doing the next things. I think what everybody awaits now is the, the Horizon 2020 program. Yeah. And so, could you please tell me how does that include NRANS? Yeah, uh, Horizon 2020 is open. is open to everybody. So this is the uh, framework program for research in the next seven years, starting 2014. Um, there will be uh, a number of actions uh, in the area of the social challenges, in the area of supporting industry, and in the area of supporting science in general, excellent science. And I think that's the place where NRN can help a lot in the sense that uh, we are going to support innovation and support of infrastructure for researchers. Uh, it's true for large installation, it's true for ICT, for researcher. So um, it's called e-infrastructure and there is a large uh, range of activity for NRNs to play in this field. Uh, it's the network, of course, uh, through the uh, action around GEAN and uh, what we uh, expect from the community to provide for the researcher for the 2020. But it's also a range of other actions uh, in terms of uh, cloud, in terms of uh, computers, in terms of federation of infrastructure. So I think there is a lot for playing for NRNs. And of course, there are other parts of the program uh, where NRNs can tap in uh, in the area of future internet, in the area of security, etc. Does the program bring some new funding models uh, for NRAN that NRANs could take advantage of? Yes, the program is very focused around innovation, so there will be uh, a number of uh, new instruments. Uh, one is called pre commercial procurement, which is a way for public authority, for procurers. To, have, uh, to fund research for products or services that does not exist on the market. Uh, and there is a range of uh, actions and uh, mechanisms for doing that. Um, the other one is the procurement of uh, innovative services. So the public procurement of innovative uh, services or solutions. So PPI is the term that you will hear about it, uh, is uh, at a later stage of the process where there are already some products and where uh, the Commission will stimulate uh, public procurers to join forces together and uh, make uh, procurement for early solutions, so as early adopters. So in, a, in other words, to have public authorities becoming early adopters of solutions rather than be liars. When it comes to innovative uh, services, mm -hmm. uh, what do you think uh, will be the role of media services in the future yeah, of NRNs? Well, uh, media services is not something so common in the area of uh, NRNs, uh, but I think uh, PSNC is leading the pack here. Uh, yeah, I think it opens a, a whole range of uh, services and, uh, and solutions in the area of uh, uh, science, uh, in the area of uh, health, for instance. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, it's probably an area of development uh, for NRNs in the future, yes. Thank you for the interview. Thank you very much.